it's really rich for Democratic leaders to say that Donald Trump is a unique threat to democracy when he peacefully gave over power on January the 20th, as we have done for 250 years in this country. We are going to shake hands after this debate and after this election. And of course, I hope that we win and I think we're going to win. But if Tim Walz is the next vice president, he'll have my prayers, he'll have my best wishes and he'll have my help okay. whenever he, he, he wants it. I think there's a lot of agreement. But this is one that we are miles apart on. This was a threat to our democracy in a way that we had not seen. And it manifested itself because of Donald Trump's inability to say. He is still saying he didn't lose the election. I would just ask that. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to... that is a damning non-answer. Has... Donald Trump had four years. He had four years to do this. And he promised you, America, how easy it would be. I'll build you a big, beautiful wall, and Mexico will pay for it. Less than 2% of that wall got built, and Mexico didn't pay a dime. But here we are again, nine years after he came down that escalator, dehumanizing people. You've got schools that are overwhelmed. You've got hospitals that are overwhelmed. You've got housing that is totally unaffordable because we brought in millions of illegal immigrants to compete with Americans for scarce homes. The people that I'm most worried about in Springfield, Ohio, are the American citizens who have had their lives destroyed by Kamala Harris's open border.